hey everybody it's uh, Martin Luther King Day the 18th of January and um, I'm gonna carry on being myself because I am on a you know on a personal mission um, to um, to try and fight some ignorance okay so here's one that I'm gonna d delete and part of why I'm going to delete it is because number one, it's it's anonymous. There's no name, nothing, and it this person keeps saying this, so I'm going to answer them. But watch, it won't be it won't be enough. See, that's why I'm doing this because it is. Um, I'm trying to help because this bullshit ignorance. If you're so against systemic racism, how come we never speak, hear you speak on the new president's long history? Of trying to implement it for decades I think I know the answer because you voted for him it's interesting how you have been completely silent on this subject I don't think I've heard you speak about it once I'll speak about it now <laughs> I'm, I'm not a Democrat the see I care I want to help so I'm gonna address this and you won't stop okay your first off i'm gonna blow up some steam your position towards me is stupid okay it's just stupid i haven't heard you say anything about da, da, da. that doesn't mean yes i have you haven't been listening i've said it many times i said it in less than two videos ago that let's see what these people do okay in 20 the the election before the one that trump got in I voted for third party. I'm independent. I'm not Democrat, okay? So that's why I always delete this bullshit because it's, it's, there's, you have no point. And you're not listening. I'm a, right now, I'm, and also because you're such a coward, you, you, you um, have no uh, identity, no name nothing and you keep coming back with the same lame shit so that's why i address it it's not that it bothers me it's because it's stupid and i'd like to help reduce um this sort of behavior it's, it really is a problem in the world with people shooting off at the mouth talking bullshit anonymously okay it doesn't bother me personally it's annoying and it's like well, you just really got some really stupid people. Really full of shit. They don't listen, okay? So it's really like a bot. That one is sounds like more like a bot. It's like, it's a, that's just fucking stupid. Carry on. A bit of music for you. It's Martin Luther King Day. I won't go on about that. Martin Luther King was very important to me as a little boy, but when they killed him, it... it as long as long along with JFK it showed me what this world was really about which was about greed it was about lies we say that we're we love one another and that this concept of God is important to us but look what we do if this country was so great Martin Luther King would still be alive wouldn't he Teru Nakamura rising sun pull this out this is some of that smooth jazz type of stuff that is really popular with a lot of collectors and for a long time I thought this stuff was coffee table and it was like I don't want to hear this I hear it now I enjoy it I hear all the musicianship but with at the time that this was going on I thought it was cheesy I really did I like it better now Here's something that someone gave me. Perhaps Vijay, Vijay, I know you still watch and show great video, great records online. The Names, a Belgian band who put out a couple of really wonderful um, singles and one album, Swimming, back in the 80s. And then they regrouped and put this out called Stranger Than You. And um, they used the same art, artist, who did the cover for Swimming, which I think is just a phenomenal album. And this isn't even close. Whatever was 
inspiring him to write I forget the guy's name those early songs it's 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 really barely barely here I'm being honest I like having this in my my collection but I listened to it and most of the songs were were dismal it's like it's like a t it was like an attempt you know but whatever inspired the the early songs whatever that inspiration was was gone Osmotantes, Mutante, Mutants from Brazil. Got to see them live and meet them and hang out with them. What a night that was. Sergio Diaz gave me his phone number and um, and address. He said, come visit. You know, I, I wrote him to see if it was real. It was. <laughs> this is wild. This is back um, in those political days when the music was considered dangerous. And they were just kids. Part of this album is literally, you can hear that they're, they're children, literally teens. Very silly, but also very daring. And um, um, Sergio's guitar, very unique sounds that I've never heard on any other guitar. When I met him, he had one of his custom guitars with all these switches and knobs, and they all do something. And he does things that I've never heard any other guitarist do sound-wise. Mutants, Os Mutantes. I put the one away that got me taught going, but someone online showed some old Gary Burton, so I pulled it. The album was Duster, but I put it away already. But then I pulled this one too, Alone at Last, Gary Burton. Just lovely stuff. I also give him credit that he kept his sexuality out of the picture. It wasn't until just recently that anything about his sexuality being gay was even mentioned, you know, which I think is 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 wonderful on his part. Which is, I'm I'm a musician. I'm here to play. Ain't none of y'all's business what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna carry on, people. I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna talk about exactly what I want to, socially, politically, musically, whatever. I'm gonna keep uh, deleting the bots. I just uncovered one this morning. That's not a real person and the real person who keep com people who keep coming over and needling me I bring it up because it's like well what's the point if you look at the uh, um, comments consistently on my videos people are letting me know that these videos have value for them and they're helpful so what are you doing <laughs> that's that's really the, the point of it of bringing it up is if there's something good going on here what's the what is this business of people coming over trying to rain on this parade or cause disruption or just talk shit. What is that about? Except to me, um, mental illness or possibly racism or uh, just really low people, bad people. So I'm going to bust them. I'm going to bust them. Pat. Pat B, I want to mention this. Yesterday, my brother and my younger brother, who's the only family in town directly, came by and um, he asked if his best friend, Pat, also his name is Pat, could come by. And I like, and I said, sure, I like Pat. Um, and Pat comments on the videos. Uh, so, hey, Pat. And we talked about this, you know, and this relates to also to why I said if, you could t if I could talk to my detractors or these uh, spammers in person, we would, I'd be able to show real quick who's the asshole and who's full of shit. And um, Pat, you leave a met, you can leave a comment, but we had good conversations yesterday, didn't we? And in person, um, I'm real good at clearing the air with people. I am. It, I, it's not that I'm any better. It's just that if you're talking to me, let's be clear and not bullshitty, okay? And I'm good at that. That's what I was good at at my job, is cutting to the chase, especially with people who were delusional, you know, and the meds are working or not quite working, or the person has therapy uh, issues and they have tools to use to help them with their symptoms, and they don't use them, all kinds of things. I, I, have, I have a lot of practice at that. So that comes up here and it will continue when it needs to.